Hey everybody, MDW coming at you again with another action figure review. Today I've got the Iron Spider, Spider-Man from the Avengers Infinity War film from Hot Toys. I've had this figure for a couple of weeks now and I have to say this is my favourite Marvel one uh, figure I've had so far. So let's crack it up and have a look. There's loads going on with this guy. Everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining me. So, let's get straight into it. The Iron Spider box comes with a picture of Spider-Man on the front of the packaging. On the back, it's got all the blurb about the sculptures and all these kind of bits and pieces, the choking hazards, all the warnings and all this kind of stuff. On the side, it's got the picture, again, of part of the Iron Spider costume, Iron Spider, Avengers Infinity War logo. So these are the sleeve-like boxes. So unlike the Star Wars ones that come with a kind of case that you pull off, this just slips off on the sleeve. And then underneath that there's a window box, so it actually showcases the whole figure, kind of like a, more like an action figure with it. And then it's got the Avengers logo again, Spider-Man symbols here, there and everywhere. Avengers logo again on the back of the box there. But yeah, I'm not much of a fan of these boxes of the Star Wars ones. I don't know why, I don't know, I just don't like the sleeve slider thing, I think it's a bit cheaper than that. But the figure itself looks absolutely superb in it, really, really nice figure. So let's go and have a closer look at him. Welcome back everybody. Okay, here we are, Iron Spider outside of the box. So we'll go into all the bits and pieces he comes with in a while, because he does come with a lot of accessories. He's got some decent action features, head swaps, so much stuff. But let's go and have a little rundown of the figure. So first impressions, the paint job is superb, really good. I mean, it's the actual, the whole design of the suit is really great. The gold really does just offset from the really dark navy blue and the red that Spider-Man has in his costume there. So I don't know, it just looks quite futuristic, quite nice. But then when I saw it in the film, I didn't really over, you know, I didn't think it was too much OTT. So I really do like the whole design of the figure. The whole figure has the shiny metallic feel to it as well. So you guys can see that on the camera there. Literally all of the bits, the gold, the red has a glossy feel to it. Uh, shine all over it even to the dark navy bits as well so it really does look like it's made of iron or you know, metal so he can survive out in space uh, his helmet as well the part bit there at the top is all a shiny metallic red so you know, it doesn't really look out of place with the rest of the, the shiny outfit it is really really great design for the figure so let's run down the articulation on spider-man so his head is removable so it literally comes off there's a magnet at the top there the magnet in the helmet and it literally bangs on there so his head literally is completely movable 360 degrees kind of up and down a little bit there so yeah because it's a removable head note to, uh, note to you guys straight away mine does tend to uh, fall back a little bit sometimes i don't know why i think it's a little bit front heavy i mean you know there's absolutely no issues at all with it really but say so sometimes when i take out the box or i stand him up his head will just go a little bit back and tilt but this is the only, the only head that I've had this issue with is the one that he comes in the box with. The other two heads I've not had any issue with. But there we go, so there's that. That spins all the way around. Not much movement on the rest of the figure because obviously the suit is you know, tailored to the actual buck of the figure. So there's not really much movement. The suit is very, very tight fitting, obviously. Um, and it has the classic cracking noise of the joints as you move them up and down. There is a set of instructions in the box that I've kind of come to expect now with the Marvel figures about the actual movement and what's capable of the figures, which is really nice. So again, I think they've just had so many figures break or people were asking for refunds because the figures are broken and they're not aware that they're not actually supposed to be posed that much. So that's about as high as you're going to get his arms. Again, there's a bend at the elbow here and here and they swivel there. So yeah, it kind of swivels at his bicep as well. So there must be joints there. I mean, we know how articulate these figures are. But it's just this suit is obviously one piece right over him so you know you don't really want to break this suit because there's plastic bits to the suit but then obviously it's kind of like this like vinyl material and you don't want to rip that in any way i wouldn't think because it, it'd be a nightmare to repair i just don't think you could do it and just ruin the whole figure so yeah you know the elbow swivel there's a bit of swivel action you guys can see that and then obviously it moves up let's prove that as far as you're going to get his arms and then his hands obviously detach as well so they spin 360 degrees there's a little bit of a torso crunch, there you guys can see, and a little bit back again. A little bit of a waist swivel, not much. And then the legs, again, there's not much movement in these, again, because of the, you guys can see the crack in there, that's where the joints meet the torso. So that's about as far as you're gonna get them there. And then I don't really, I wouldn't really advise moving them forward or back, or this stitching, again, is really, really tight around here. 
So yeah, there's not much movement there. His knees bend and his legs go up a little bit. I mean, I wouldn't really risk anything more than that. Um, and his feet, obviously, the boot is all one piece as well. So it kind of swivels a little bit there. But again, you can't really get much movement out of it. You've got a bit of a toe swivel, which is cool as well. But yeah, so that is pretty much a rundown of the movement on Spider-Man. Okay, so we've had a look at the articulation and the design of the figure. Let's have a look at the accessories that Spider-Man comes with. There are so many. There's so much packed into the box. When I opened it, I was like, it's low. So let's go run down these ones here for you now. So first up, he comes with so many hands. Like literally, some of the other figures literally come with one, two. Thanos came with like a changeable arm. Captain America had like about three or four hands, I think. I can't even remember. So many hands for Spider-Man, and they're really great, all of them. So you've got a couple of clenched fists. That one there's got a hole in it, so you can literally hold that with the webbing, which I'll show you in a second. You've got a couple there where he's kind of sticking to walls or even shooting his webs out of his hands or he's trying to grab onto something. Now oh, there's a couple of grabby hands, one's poses there, if ever I saw one. And then the classic web shooter action hand poses. And then another one with just the open hand as well, plus obviously two on him, so that is a lot of hands. He comes with a, uh, a spare mask, but actually like one that he's not wearing. So you can literally pose this in the hands. There, I've just seen on the box, you can literally, I mean obviously not this hand here, perhaps I don't know, you have to have a bit of creativity when you do it, but you can literally pose your figure with his mask off, holding the mask in his hand. Really cool, so again, like the same kind of vinyl, classic vinyl material, same metallic paint job though, really cool. Nice little touch there. Couple of spare pegs just in case you lose them. The hands. Then we have a couple of different heads. So we've got his unmasked face. Now, the likeness for this for Tom Holland is really, really great. Uh, I'll say I'll do a couple of close ups of this later on with the, the but you know, really nice sculpt for Tom Holland there. Captured him superbly, I think. He has got a bit of the glassed over face that. You know, kind of don't like in some of the figures, especially particularly like my last Princess Lara picked up, very glassed eyes look. Um, haven't been too bad recently with others, but yeah, you know, like I say, again, the detail on the hair and the face and everything, really nice sculpt. So that's good having that in there. Then the other helmet. This one has got the action feature on it, the light up helmet. So you literally get batteries in the box with him the tiny little disc batteries that are crazy you need a phd literally me and my missy spent ages trying to fit those batteries in that hole down in there the battery compartment but we'll show them in a second in fact if i turn it on now i don't know if you guys will be able to see it for light Let's see if we turn that on there we go you guys can see that yes so bright really nice as well you can you see him look shining through there that is absolutely superb, and in the dark, they just look so good. That's a really nice feature. So three different heads with Spidey, really chuffed. So next up, for want of a better word, he has an expressions pack for his eyes. Now again, I saw this and I was like, wow, oh my God, this is like so much, there's so much stuff you get with him. And it's so cool because this actually goes on the third head. So the, the, the head that lights up, and then you've got obviously Tom Holland's head. This is the original one that comes actually in the figure when you open him up, and it has got magnets behind the eyes so you literally go the eyes just pop out like that and say there's a little magnet in there and then you just literally pick the eye you want and it just ping sits in place like that how cool is that it gives you so many more display options and it's such a nice touch he also comes with you guys see this here some webbing with him as well so you've got the actual big splat of web as he's not like sticking to something here this is just literally plastic it's quite hard plastic so it's a little bit bent to it but so yeah it's not like kind of super rubber flimsy plastic and then you have concealed in this little bit of kind of foam carrying case here you guys see that there different threads of webbing there's one that's got like a curve on it so you can pose him like swinging or there's one there which you find out web bolts for it these look really fragile you guys can see it's clear plastic again they are quite flexible though, so there's no issue there. And you literally do attach them to his wrist, um, which I will show you again, I say in a separate video there, because I was absolutely pooping myself putting these on, because they literally fit in with this little kind of thing that you guys see at the end there, they're just, just sliding just where his wrist is. But you get loads and loads of them as well, giving you loads more display options. And then lastly, if that wasn't enough, you get his Iron Spider arms as well. 
all articulated. This is superb. I say when I saw these underneath the pack, I knew they'd come with them, but they're absolutely huge. And the, the actual articulation of them, the way you can move them, pose them, literally adds this figure so much more to it. I mean, it's a good figure, like I said, anyway, and he's quite a small figure. Obviously, Tom Holland's quite a small guy. You know, it's supposed to be a teenager, years, Spider-Man. So, you know, this there just adds so much to the figure. It makes him look so much bigger. But yeah, I'll put these on in a second and we'll have a look at him. So how to attach the mechanical legs. So the back of Spider-Man has several plugs, for want of a better word, which literally you can just pull out. And be careful because they are quite tightly in for the first time. Then once the plugs are out, each one of the legs has actually got uh, letters on it to tell you where they plug into. So that one that I've got is literally says top left on it, top right, bottom left, and bottom right. So there's no confusion. So here's a quick look for you guys with his legs attached. Look at that. Looks so good. And they're all metallic paint job as well. So they've got the same gold trim on them, or the same, sorry, metallic paint job as his trim on his suit. And then obviously the navy blue, a bit lighter, and then metallic as well. The paint job on that, matching the navy on his suit. So there they are attached to the back. So again, they only move certain ways. So again, there's a hinge on that goes up and down, makes a nice little clicky noise, now you're doing it correctly there. And then each one of them, so there's a hinge here, which moves up down and then there is one another one here as well so you can actually bend them literally one two three four times because there's one just at the end there as well where the blade is on it so that is really excellent these top ones here are fine as well you can literally swivel them in the sockets a little bit as well if you just want to position them if you want them just a bit more up or down the bottom ones here you can probably swivel if you want his kind of legs to stay in the position where they come kind of more out this way here but you don't swivel them at this bit here you literally have to try and swivel them at the actual point where they actually plug into his body. But again, these the bottom two are lots different than the top. So again, you know, it looks really cool like it is anyway, but you obviously there is some movement there if you want that as well. So here's the instruction manual to get inside the Iron Spider. So I'll just give you a quick picture inside there. You need loads of them for this, this figure. So it tells you all the capabilities of the actual tendrils that come out of his back, the legs, how to position them onto the figure, how to put the webs onto his hands there, how to put them into his back, the legs, his posing of the actual stand that you get with him as well. I'll tell you about the helmet and switching up the batteries and how to change all that. And it's got obviously, like I said before, the movements are 90 degrees here, 90 degrees there, 60 to avoid any damaging your figure. So that's quite cool they've done that. It's quite a comprehensive pamphlet. So the Iron Spider comes with a base with it, the ones we're used to now, pretty much seeing. So it's the hexagonal one with the Avengers logo on it and the Avengers symbol, Iron Spider at the front. And then a bit of difference to this than a lot of the other ones we see. So this one here, rather than plugging in the standard kind of like spring mounted one there, you've got a flexible pole at the back and this is really thick and it, do you know I mean? Like literally I could bend this right over and it'll stay there for ages, that will. You know, it, it feels really strong, really sturdy. And then it, you literally get this massive clamp in with the figure as well. There we go. And literally you pull that, like that. And there you yeah, pull that bit there and then that obviously sits around the race of your figure and then you attach this part here to the pole and you can literally do him in poses of like flying spinning web shooting jumping in midair with all of his arms out and it would look so cool so with all the hot toys figures you know the score by now literally the hands just pull off and then you get the replacement hand and just pop it on the peg there with his webbing, so the webbing actually fits into his web cartridges. You see the actual uh, little cartridge he has at the bottom of his hand, there's a hole in that, and that literally houses the webbing in it. You push it in very, very gently. There's a bit of bend to it, and there we go, it just sits in there nicely. So there we go, everybody. That is a look at Hot Toys Iron Spider from Avengers Infinity Wars. This is a must figure. All of the Marvel figures I've bought so far, they've been decent, Thanos good, Captain America good. This one though has been my favourite, definitely. For the same price point as Captain America, you get so much more stuff with him, so you get literally three different heads you can swap out. You've got the four uh, mechanical arms that go on his back, you've got loads of web shooters, you've got the changeable eyes, you've got the light up feature on it, you've got a really flexible base, you've got half a tonne of hands to switch out. This guy is literally so worth the money that you would pay for him. Okay, he's a bit of a smaller figure in stature and build and height because obviously he's a teenager, but you, know, you get all these bits. The paint job is lovely. The suit looks really, really great. The articulation, okay, yeah, we understand now that they're not really supposed to be posed that much, especially 
with these kind of tighter fitting costumes that they wear, the superheroes generally. But yeah, there we go, guys. Definitely worth a pickup. They are on eBay now. They are on the websites now. You're talking around about £200 for him. Um, definitely, definitely worth a pickup added to your collection. I'm definitely going to be keeping this guy and putting him on my shelf. Uh, yeah, so thanks very much for watching, everybody. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. And make sure you put the alarm icon on your desktop so that whenever I do a new video, you are the first guys to see it. Thanks very much. I'll see you next time. MDW signing off. Find MDW on Facebook and Instagram now at MDW underscore toys.